Hello guys and welcome to another TKG Games tutorial. Today we're going to be solving problem 25 from Project Order which is the 1000 Fibonacci number. The Fibonacci sequence is defined by the recurrence relationship Fn equals Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2 and so forth. Then it gives us the first 12 Fibonacci numbers. Then it says the F12 is the first term to contain the first three digits, which is 144. What is the index of the first term of the Fibonacci sequence to contain 1000 digits? So we know that 1000 digits definitely cannot fit within a long for a primitive type. So we have to go ahead and use big integer for this uh, question. So let's go ahead and create a Java class. And we're going to call this one 1000 fib number index. All right. I was thinking maybe I should uh, move away from Java for a little bit and use uh, C sharp for the tutorials, or maybe I should just keep using Java. Um, but it depends all right so what we need to do is we just need to create uh, one method for this um, question it's going to be static int and we're going to call it, I'm going to call this one thousand uh, fib and this is going to take in the limit which is going to be the size that we have to get to. And don't forget the int here. All right, I'll make this bigger. So the first thing we need to do is we need to pretty much uh, get the first two numbers and we can use a list here. In fact, using a list is the easiest way and we use the stream off method here and we can pass in uh, big integer dot one and big integer dot one and then what we need to do is we want to go ahead and collect this to stream so we're going to use the going to use the collectors class the collectors dot to list and that will then add these two big integers to this list so next we're going to say that while uh, list dot get and we need a value to hold the index so we're going to say index is going to equal to zero when do we want to get the uh, index then we want to go ahead and convert that to two string all right and then we want to get the length and that is not equal to limit, which is going to be our 1000. They want to keep going. And that's going to check. going to say if list.get index that to string that length that length is equal equal to limit then we just want to go ahead and break so we're going to say break here next what we want to do is we want to go ahead and generate the next number so we're going to say list.add we're going to do list.get index dot add list that get index plus one and this is going to pretty much create the third number so what we're doing we're taking the first number which is going to be at the index zero which is going to be this big integer dot one we're adding to this big integer dot one to get big integer two right so this will follow the sequence one one two and then once we're at the two here generally the next one we just add one plus um, two to get three. 
All right. So now that we've done that, we need to go ahead and then increment the index. So the index plus plus. And this is pretty much it for this algorithm. So what we can do here is we can either return the index plus one or we can return the list dot size minus one and this is to give you the right index all right so i'm gonna check out this one yeah and we'll come down here create main Then we're going to do SRT here and the 1000 fib pass in 1000. All right. And let's go ahead and run this. And it should give you 4,782. And if we wanted to go ahead and use the size, that would still work as well. So go ahead here and still build this run this and it gives you the same thing all right so this will be it for this solution if you guys like the video please like and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next tutorial bye bye